Well, hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my top 10 Blu-rays in my collection. I feel like I'm always talking about how good a movie is and how bad a movie is, but I'm never really talking about the Blu-ray, you know, the picture quality, the sound and everything. Like the way I'm making this list isn't based on the movie itself. Well, it does have something to do with it, like at least a little for sure. Like I'm not gonna put freaking like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom at the top because it has good picture quality. No, like I'm not gonna even put it on the list just because, you know, I don't like that movie that much, you know? So yes, it has to be a movie that I like, but also most importantly, the picture and the sound. So first up on the list at number 10, we have Interstellar. Now, I don't talk about Interstellar that much on my channel because, well, it isn't my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. There are some script problems and the movie does drag a lot in the middle. But overall, I do think it's a good film. But I'm here to talk about the picture quality and the sound because the picture quality is absolutely amazing. One thing that comes with a Christopher Nolan movie on Blu-ray is that it has all the IMAX sequences in there. So the movie will start in widescreen and then there are scenes where it's gonna be like full screen and it's like super immersive and awesome. I remember I bought this on opening day because I knew I was gonna have some friends over and I wanted to test this out on the Blu-ray and have them experience this, see the IMAX footage and everything. Like I already knew that this movie was gonna look good at home. And of course the sound and the visuals definitely worth having on Blu-ray. Next up on the list at number nine, we have Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now this movie absolutely looks amazing on Blu-ray. And I really love the choice that Zack Snyder took to put this movie in four by three instead of the usual 16 by nine widescreen thing. I think it really adds something really artistic to the, the DCEU. Like it's something different and something that we've never seen before. And I'm probably one of the few people that actually like the color grading in the Zack Snyder movies, particularly this one, I like the color grading of this one way more than uh, Man of Steel and BVS. And of course, Tom Hockenborg's amazing soundtrack for this movie. Oh my God, it like blasts your ears when you're watching this at home with the surround sound speakers. Yeah, so Zack Snyder's Justice League, definitely check it out on Blu-ray. Next up at number eight, we have Drive, starring Ryan Gosling, directed by, who's it? Nicholas Winding Refn. Oh my God, I completely forgot. Yes, directed by Nicholas Winding Refn. How could I forget Nick? Oh my God. Anyway, I don't talk about this movie that much on my channel either, but I really love this movie. The colors in this movie are so beautiful, like the neon lights and not to mention the soundtrack, the really, really cool like techno type soundtrack. I, I don't know how to describe that type of music, but yeah, Drive is a must have in everybody's collection. Next up at number seven, we have Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark or the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now I could put the first three Indiana Jones because they all look amazing, but I think this is the most impressive looking Blu-ray out of the three. I just love the grainy look of it, but I also love the very warm tone colors in this movie. Like the warm tone looks so beautiful on this Blu-ray. Like I still own the Indiana Jones set on DVD and I kind of have an idea of what it looks like. I can tell that there's there's a big difference when it comes to Blu-ray and the, the warm tone colors is not that prominent on the DVD, but it is very prominent in this Raiders of the Lost Ark Blu-ray. So. Yes, definitely check this out. Next up on the list, we have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Got Fellowship, Two Towers, I'm trying to, and the Return of the King. And the picture quality on all three movies are absolutely amazing. The sound is absolutely great as well. But I think I'm putting this mostly at this spot because of the rewatchability and how it's my favorite movie of all time. A lot of people don't really like the color grading on the first movie, as I've heard, <laughs> but I actually really do like the green tone of this movie. I like, I like the green tint. It makes it more like, fantastical in a way. I've seen the, the colors of the 4K transfer, which makes the colors look more natural, like natural light and stuff, which isn't bad, but I do prefer the green tint to make it look more fantasy-esque, I guess. But I already prefer the color on this more than the one on the DVD. Next up on the list, we have Avatar, directed by James Cameron. Um, and there's a disgusting ass residue of the sticker over there. But yes, who doesn't remember the experience of going to watch Avatar in theaters? Like this movie was such a visual treat to watch on the big screen, especially in 3D. And of course, you know damn well that the world of Pandora looks great at home. I still think the visual effects still hold up to this day, except there's like a, maybe a few scenes in there that really like kind of, you can tell it's like CGI or outdated. But overall, this is a fantastic Blu-ray and a must to have in your collection. And I'm desperately waiting for Avatar The Way of Water because that's going to that's gonna blow my mind once I have it on Blu-ray. And it might even join the ranks of my list of the top 10 Blu-rays in my collection. Who knows? Let's see. Next up on the list, we have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, directed by David Fincher, 
starring Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. Now I'm just gonna say right off the bat that I think this is the best packaging of a Blu-ray that I ever own. Like this is, this looks so cool. You got Rooney Mara. Oh shit, I'm having trouble here. Oh, Daniel Craig and like the discs, they look so cool. <laughs> but yes, I already talked about this movie many times on my channel saying that this is a visual masterpiece. It's a movie that's crafted to perfection and everything just looks so good. Like the shots, the sound, the soundtrack. Now at number three we have Dunkirk, another Christopher Nolan movie. Yes, you can never have enough Christopher Nolan movies because of the IMAX footage. The IMAX footage looks so good on this Blu-ray. And I'm mainly putting this movie so high on the list because if I wanna test out the Blu-ray, the sound, the picture quality, this is the movie to go. Right at the start of the film, there's already an IMAX scene and the sound is super intense. Like to me, this is the perfect movie to test out your surround system, your Blu-ray and all that stuff. So at number two, we have Skyfall. Literally like my favorite looking movie of all time. The cinematography by Roger Deakins is absolutely, absolutely stunning. It's like literally, I think it's my favorite work of his anyway. And just like Dunkirk, this is also the perfect movie to just test your surround system and your Blu-ray to see the picture quality and everything because the cinematography and the sound design in this movie is already just perfect. But not only that, Skyfall is an amazing Bond film. And here we are at number one, and I don't think you're gonna be surprised, but Top Gun Maverick, once again, at number one. How many times is Top Gun Maverick is gonna be number one on every list? Like I'm telling you, the practical stunts, the real flying, the IMAX scenes, the amazing sound design, all of that make Top Gun Maverick an amazing experience for a home theater. Like I'm telling you, with this movie, this is the one way to convince your friends that streaming does not compare to physical media. Like this is the best example to test out physical media to show the sound, the picture, but of course the movie in general. So yeah, Top Gun Maverick, I have yet to try this on 4K because I don't have a 4K player yet, but I bet it looks freaking amazing. So yeah, that's my list of the top 10 Blu-rays in my collection. Let me know your favorite Blu-rays in your collection. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.